Good afternoon, traders. Today is August 9th. It is Friday. The markets are almost over. We got an hour basically to go. We're looking here at the inside breakaway pattern of the SPY on a 10 minute basis. Looks honestly, guys, like we're seeing a bit of channeling to the upside. And looks honestly like we're going to probably see, I'm going to slide this over, condense this, and I'm going to try to highlight the channeling. You can see here, channeling is oftentimes very important to try to identify related to um, how price moves in a upward or downward price channel now they're not you know guaranteed to um present any future extended trending but when price moves into a channel we can often see price continue in that channel uh particularly on a daily or a weekly basis for many weeks or months until price actually breaks away from that channel so we actually have a channel you can see right here off of these points, kind of setting up this upward channeling direction here. So let me slide this over. And this would indicate that as we've got an hour to go here in trading, that we're bouncing off this lower channel, may break below it. Remember, the inside breakaway pattern needed to see an open below uh, 532.60, I think it was. Uh, and we did. Uh, and it opened it down here lower and in 528 area and then rallied higher. This move over here, right here, is looking very indicative of a channel low setting up a move potentially up into this 535 and a half, 536 area before the end of the day. Uh, and even though I'm not uh, at this point 100% sure we're going to get it because I think we're seeing a lot of uh, downward uh, sideways trending. We are establishing new higher highs, new higher lows, new higher highs, new higher lows. So there's a, a probably about an 80 percent chance that we're going to bottom in this 532 area and rally up into this 535 plus area on the SPY. Uh, would not, maybe higher, maybe even generating a short, short squeeze up into this 536 area, which was my lower range target from earlier this morning. You can see that I had highlighted a whole range of activity, including this red bar here, indicating how I thought we could move into a sloping pattern upward. And basically 536, 537 was my, my target actually is a little higher i think up in this area 536.78 and we will see i mean we may squeeze up into that area so the inside breakaway right now is if we take a look here daily not looking all that impressive so it is an inside breakaway uh we have seen the price move up into the 534 area we do not have a massive breakaway yet. We could squeeze into something here towards the end of the day, getting a short squeeze may push price levels up into this uh, 536, 537 area, this lower range that I thought was very likely. But uh, we're not getting a big breakaway yet like I expected. Uh, and we'll see how it plays out. Okay, so let's come over here to gold. Take a look at gold. Gold kind of doing the same thing, sliding into kind of sideways price action. Um, nothing super aggressive. In fact, you can see on this this uh, price pane here. I mean, everything is a 0 0.04, 0 0.05%, 0.36%. You know, biggest thing is Bitcoin down 2.2%. Everything else is very minor. 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, almost 2. Uh, 0 0.03 for the Dow Jones. I mean, the Dow Jones really has only moved 19 points. Wow. Yeah, well, it's had some volatility, but just very flat today. Okay, uh, let's come over and take a look at Bitcoin. 
Bitcoin is stalling out. Bitcoin will attempt maybe to move back up into this area, like I said, 64, 65,000, uh, and then flag out. Although we could, and I'm going to highlight this as a potential because my flagging expectations may have been a little high. So we could be flagging out down in this current range right here instead of up here, like I had expected. So we'll see how it plays out. We may end up side flagways, uh, sideways flagging here after this peak yesterday um, and we'll just see how it plays out right now fairly tight range after a big big rally yesterday uh, and then lastly let's take a look at nvidia these are personal requests from some of my friends and followers all right nvidia is holding up okay very mellow very flat on up zero point or down 0 0.3 percent roughly nothing horrible um this is really look at this this is down 29 cents this is not the end of the world right now guys uh and again we do have this sloping mode you can see it we would be looking for nvidia to break and i will move right into these channels here we would be looking for nvidia to break these channels uh, as a measure of rolling price. So this is a pretty safe channel here with the amount of rejection to the downside. We do have these outliers, which we could measure by simply putting an outlier range out here. Uh, but again, we're up near that upper channel range, could get outside of it. You could even put an outlier range here up in this upper range and say that this is our outlier and so we would be watching literally uh nvidia would have to get above about 110 right now 111 to break out of this outlier range to attempt to move higher uh and what was the other one iwm probably pretty flat Yep, very flat, uh, down 59 cents today. No real big breakaway. We have these, this big, huge gap here, which is gonna come into play, in my opinion, in the next week. So this gap will come into play. And uh, you can already see that we've closed this gap here. And we've closed this gap here. Well, actually, that gap's still open. So this gap would be open, carrying all the way out to here. And uh, we would be likely seeing IWM move higher into this gapping area, uh, potentially targeting the upward uh, 212 area, 213 uh, area here. That would be a good target range for IWM next week, assuming this channeling mode continues to stay in place going higher we would be looking for some sort of a move up into this 213 214 212 area okay let's go back over here to the spy see what we're doing on my custom charts here with the uh, new indicators lots of rolling around today you can see that we've been generally bullish with this indicator here okay this is bullish 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 haven't had a lot of reds here you can see bullish trending bullish trending bullish trending bullish trending bullish trending all morning long this is on a 10 minute we got a little bit of red right here through this downtrend we got some green trending here and now we're back into sideways downward trending we are still in a bullish trend here off the wave indicator the pressure wave indicator uh, we are in a bearish trend here on the two-minute pressure wave indicator. Uh, and like I said, we are getting some rolling trend here. Bearish through here, bullish now through here. So we're currently, uh, well, now we look here, we're bearish through this rolling trend. Uh, it's been very flat compared to the 2 3%, 4% days that we had 
last week. This has just been a uh, go nowhere day. Uh, and again, sometimes these patterns do this. It'll predict a breakaway. Might be a small, mellow breakaway or maybe no real breakaway at all. We'll see. I think that we're really going to see some squeezing here into the end of the day. What I want to suggest is that uh, the last half hour or so of trading, we could see some pretty good upward momentum here squeezing higher simply because of the way that the breakaway pattern is set up. So be aware that, you know, we might see a pretty solid move up, you know, one and a half, two and a half points here near the end of the day, in my opinion. So, uh, okay, I guess I'm going to leave it there. We'll do some of my research over the weekend, uh, get it ready for members. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful weekend for everybody. And uh, hope you enjoyed this week. We'll, uh, we'll, I'll probably post up some videos over the weekend. And in the meantime, be safe, stay solid, keep learning. And uh, and we'll go from there. I'm going to drop this back down to my 10 minute. And auto scale. And there we go. So let's see what we've got here. In terms of whether or not we see. Whether or not. Whoops. I don't want to do that. We see this channeling play out. Okay, that's what it comes down to. Is this channeling going to play out? Okay, guys, talk to you later.